when you wake up, this is what you gotta do You gotta crush the day before it crushes you Every day I'm here to motivate, lead the way in the AM I don't want you to hear these words, I need you to feel what I'm saying, oh no. You gotta crush the day before it crushes you You gotta crush the day before it crushes you In the building, Jimmy Wilson Motivation's coming, I can feel it First thing that you need to do Is crush the day before it crushes you Do for others what couldn't be done for you when you needed it most. This is a mindset that I've really tried to think about as I've grown because when I grew up as a kid, there was a lot of things in my life that I had resentment for that I felt like, why couldn't someone do that for me, right? And I won't go into the details or get too like nitty gritty about it, but there were a lot of situations where I really asked myself, how come that individual, that kid, that person gets a chance to go and be on that adventure or to travel or to have that experience or to have that monetary or material thing because I had a lack in my life. I had this, you know, scarcity mindset because the way that we grew up, I mean, I had a single mom and three brothers and she worked her ass off to provide for us and she did an amazing job with the resources and the tools that she had in her life. I can't fault her for anything. She did what she could do and she made the decisions that she made. They ultimately forged me into the human being I am today, which makes me grateful. And in turn, I now look for opportunities to do for them and my mom and my family what they couldn't do for me when I needed it, right? There were times where I needed someone strong or I needed, you know, something specific and they couldn't provide that by no fault of their own. And so now when I'm in a situation and I'm blessed with abundance, I've been extremely um, grateful and, and provided a ton of value for the opportunities I've been blessed with. And so now my goal in life is to turn around and return that favor, to continue telling the universe, hey, I'm blessed with abundance and I'll take that abundance to the people around me who always supported me, who've always done and been there for me. And I hope you do the same in your life. Because there's a lot of some uh, people who've done things for you, whether you've given it that thought or credit or not, that you could be doing for others when they need it. Because they don't have someone in their life who can provide that. That is the greatest feeling in the world when you get a chance to step up and be that individual in someone's life who does for them when no one else can. That last you know, hope, that person who saves a day. And it's not about you getting any sort of return out of it other than knowing you're showing the universe you're not afraid to keep giving, that you're not afraid to do for others what was done for you when you needed it most. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to go back and check out all the previous episodes. Make sure you subscribe and share this podcast with other like-minded, success-driven individuals who want to crush it. Check the show notes and grab your Crushing the Day swag over at crushingtheday.com. And remember, crush the day before it crushes you. You gotta crush the day before it crushes you.